What's up guys? It's Organic Gaming. We are back to you with a new gold making guide. Today the, the guide is about making gold with some cooking. So as you, as you all know, Legion Cooking introduced new recipes for people to use during the raiding. Those recipes are Shari Salad, the Nightborn Platter, the Seed Fish Plate and the Hungry Magister. Those four are very important because every single person who wanna go raid or who wanna go to Mythic Plus Dungeons, they will use those food in order to gain extra stats. I'm sure every one of you are saying, oh my god, I don't wanna go farm and I don't wanna have to, I don't have time to farm for materials. True, not everyone has time to farm materials. Most of us have work and job to do beside family. So basically, for me, I'm gonna go to auction house, buy the materials and craft them. But how to know which materials to buy, how profitable it is, and how easy it is, is it really hard, how to do it automatically. So for me today guys, just to let you know, I'm using the TSM add-on, the Trade Skill Master add-on. If you don't have this add-on, I recommend that you have to install it. It's a really good add-on, it's the most helpful gold making add-on ever made. I just posted online now a video on how to create and install this add-on and how to make an account. It's very easy guys, it's gonna take you only 10 minutes. I explained step by step and I will leave a video in the description. So let's get started. The first thing you, you can do, if you don't wanna farm any materials, you can buy the blood of Sar from, buy, buy the blood trader. You can use the blood of Sargeras and buy the material. You go to cooking, you check which material this one wants, sorry for this, you check which material you need and you buy. But to be honest, I don't want to buy with blood of Sargeras, I want to save my money, I want to save my blood, I want to just go to the auction house, buy the material and make profit purely out of the auction house. So how to do it? First, let's go to the auction house. And my advice guys, if you wanna post those items to sell them on the auction house, there is a good timing for it. Let's say you it's 4 in the morning, your time, your server time, and you post those items, they will not sell, because how many people are playing 4 in the morning? The real time to post those items should be around 5 p.m. till 1 after midnight. Why? Because everyone finishes work or school between 4 and 5, and maybe they come back to WoW. And then raiding, the most important part guys. Every single guild, they start raiding at 8 maybe, or 9. So people sometimes, they don't just create the cooking items, they just don't create the food. They just wanna buy it from the auction house. So it's the perfect time for you, at 8 or 9 server time, just to post those items and then you'll see the gold flowing. So here we go, let's start guys. The first thing you do, you click on cooking. So the main recipes as we said are those four. Now if you have the TSM add-on, you can switch between your default UI and then you click on TSM and then you will have your own TSM UI. At the top here, there is profit. If you click on it, it will change to crafting cost, item value and then profit again. I really don't need that at anything else, I only need this item, it's called profit. So let's see, let's say we want to make the Hungry Magister. The Hungry Magister is about 10 pieces. So all these mats over here, if you buy them from the auction house or if you farm them, if you create them into one, cooking one recipe, it will give you 10 of the Hungry Magister. So actually TSM is giving you a hint. If you go to the auction house, you buy the material from the auction house, you craft it, you will make 116 gold. So. Why do you have to go and farm if you don't have time while well, you can buy the items from the auction house straight away and then you can make money. So the first thing you want to do, you want to click Q. Once you click the Q, it will show you around here that you have one hungry magister in the queue to be crafted, the materials needed. So intentionally I left high mountain salmon in my bag. Why? Because I wanted to show you something about what does green mean and what does red mean the green. It means that you have those five items in your bag. So the needed is zero, which means you don't need to buy any more high mountain salmon from the auction house. However, 
the red items means that you have to buy two of the pepper from the auction house, three from the flaked sea salt, one from the labicure ribs, and five from the fatty breadstick. But also guys, I just don't want to search for every item by itself on the auction house. So I will let the auction house and the TSM add-on search for me. But before we let it search for me, let's start again, continue again with this. So the estimated cost of crafting this will be 201 gold. After I post them on the auction house, the total profit will be 116 gold. So do you really want to create only one? No. So you click 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. Let's say I want to create 80 piece of Hungry Magister. The 80 piece will cost me 1608 gold to buy, but the estimated cost will now be 935 gold. So after creating this and posting them on the auction house, that's how much I'm gonna make. And this is how much items I need. Also, I wanna make the salad, a sorry salad. Oh guys, look at this. Nightborn <laughs> Delicacy Prater. Guys, if I do this, if I buy the items from the auction house, let's queue it. Let's clear the queue, start again. If I wanna buy this from the auction house, the items, and I wanna craft it, I wanna sell it on the auction house, each 10 pieces will make me 512 gold profit. So let's get Q, two, three. Let's say I wanna make 30 piece of this platter. It will cost me 688 gold to buy and the estimated profit is 1537 gold. So I click one more time. Now I need to make four of this. It depends on how much you wanna guys create, but don't create 500 ones because the, the prices on the auction house fluctuate. Always stick to the, to the current timing where you have like, let's say I logged in now Okay, I'm, it's making 500 gold, maybe after 5 hours it's gonna make 300 gold, maybe it's gonna make 700 gold, it depends. So make a bit, make a logical amount and then sell them. So I'm creating now 50 pieces of this. So I have estimated cost of this and this is the profit. So once we click on cooking, click on the auction house and you have to click on something called gather gather will do it for you to gather all the items from the auction house you click on gather in this just say always buy from the auction house but guys be careful about one thing some of the items from the nightborn delicacy, delicacy platter they are sold by the vendor so don't go buy them from the auction house for example this sto stone dark snail you can go to the vendors in Dalaran, it says in the tooltip, sold by the vendors in Dalaran. <laughs> People are buying it from the vendors and posting it on the auction house, however in the vendor it's 12 silver. So why do you want to buy it from the auction house for 5 gold, <laughs> why you can buy it from Dalaran vendors for 12 silver. But anyways, that's why I have those in my bag, I bought them from the vendor already. So as I said again, let's go back to our stuff. So when you click gather, you will have this window. Click always buy from auction house, click start gathering. After you click this, a new window will appear. It will tell you what's the items needed to craft this material, to craft this recipe. Just click buy items. Once you click buy items, it will automatically search for the auction house and it will automatically buy for you. So now it's scanning the auction house. We will need gem ship 400 pieces actually 100 pieces and the eggs for 25 pieces. Once we do this, just give it some time until it finishes the scanning. Almost done. Here we go. So how many eggs we need? We need 25. On the auction house, it says stack size 200, auctions 2. Do you really wanna be buy 200 stack? No, we only need 25. So just look here somewhere where we can buy 25 eggs. So look at this. It's stack size is one, auctions 68. So you wanna buy 25 piece. Guys, don't worry. I just gonna click buy out, click buy out like this. Once you reach 25, the gather application here, as you will see now, once you click on the buy 20 out, the 25th item, 
it will automatically stop for you you will not to buy any extra eggs and it will automatically switch to the new item you have to buy so I don't want to be scared oh my god I bought 100 piece I just have to buy 25 blah blah no the gather application will only buy 25 eggs for you once you reach the limit of 25 eggs it will stop and then it will straight away go to find the new item you still need so now I need the gym ship I need 100 items so now it's still scanning the auction house And then, here we go. Still scanning, give me a second. So now it's gonna be scanning for a gym ship for me. This item. Once I buy 100 piece of it, then it will stop for me. The next step is gonna be about crafting. few more seconds until finish scanning the auction house here we go we're done so you need to buy 100 piece here we go gem ship buy out let's see one two I reached 100 piece What's happening? Is it lag? We're done. It bought for me the hundred piece. All I have to do now. It says here, visit your mailbox to collect the eggs and the chip ship. Open. Open mail. And I will collect all the items I needed. To create my recipe so I didn't go to farm I didn't do anything just went to the auction house I used the TSM to see how much profit I'm gonna make out of it I made TSM buy the items for me until a certain limit where I don't have to cross and now here we go Let's start cooking guys cooking fire go to cooking there we go we have items enough for five recipes click create all and we started creating look at this somehow the create all button is not working for me I will check what's happened so here we go I created five nine nightborn platters. Where are they? Here we go. My next step is close everything, go to the auction house, and sell them. That's how easy it is, guys. Click on this, shift click on the item if you don't have any groups related for the food. So it will search the auction house now for the items and then you will post one copper less than the market price. Give it a few more seconds guys. So now it searched already. Just all you have to do is click post I wanna post five stacks of 10 so how many I have I have 50 right so I'm gonna post them in five stacks in 10 pieces item buyout is 72 gold 89 silver 98 copper I didn't put this guys TSM did it for me why because the, high, the lowest price on auction house is 72 gold, 89 silver and 99 copper. For me, I'm gonna post at 72 gold, 89 silver, 98 copper. Create auction. Here we go, it's creating the auctions for me. If you go over here, you will see my auctions. Go back to shopping, search.
So now it will show you that my name is on top. I'm the cheapest seller on auction house for this item and people will buy from me. Easy guys, how to make the easiest gold in game without even going to farm, without spending time looking for materials and fighting with people around you who's farming this spot and who's not. Oh, suddenly just somebody just now posted before me, like he posted three auctions of one stack size. So, it's just nothing he has. I have five auctions of ten. So people will just start buying straight away all of these guys and then just wait for the gold. If you like my guide guys, please I appreciate if you subscribe and like to my videos. I have many many upcoming guides coming now. I have a, I have a really good guide on how to use TSM to make gold out of tailoring. It's just in the video production now, I'm just doing the final touches. All I need from you is to click subscribe, wait a bit and just you will see the notifications when I upload a new video about gold making guides. Have a good day guys, all the best on your, on your gold making journey.